Okay, I just want to start off by saying, remember the old day father? I'm not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. I'm the one, the only, a father in the house, baby. Wow! Don't you miss that intro? I haven't done that in a while. I'm going to start doing it again. Um, my, my feelings on August 4th. I think we're going to run. AMC. I think we're going to run. I think we're going to go probably into the mid-20 range, like 24, something like that, 25. Uh, the thing is, I think we're going to drop after that. I think we're going to drop. And the reason why I think we're going to drop and is the same reason that AMC has been doing this for a year and a half is because the day traders will take profits and run. Guys like Teddy Zane. <laughs> okay, that's what they're going to do. They're going to take profits. They're going to run. Um, most likely, you know, Keddy G, Ked Griffin will short us down. And maybe even uh, possibly even the next day, if it's not that day, if it's not on the fourth, maybe even the next day. But um, I don't know. It's, it's frustrating. It's frustrating because I just want to win so bad i want us to have the moaz i want us to be super super rich i want all of us to have life-changing wealth i want all of us to have generational wealth but i feel like we have all of these wars that we're fighting we're not just fighting wars against the hedge funds we're we're we're, we're you know fighting with apes you know who are going against the movement you know who are day trading swing trading and it's, it's, that's the problem is that, you know, it's one thing to fight the hedge funds, to fight the enemy, but you don't want to fight your home team. We're fighting apes on our home team that, you know, because it's just become, it, listen, it's become, AMC has become a day trade play for a lot of these people. That's it. They're not buying and holding no more. They're, they're buying and holding with bye-bye. And um, it's frustrating. That's all I have to say. I'm not, look. I'm not going to day trade, okay? I'm buying and I'm holding. You know, I'm all about accumul accumulation at this point. I want to keep buying. I want to keep lowering my cost average. And I, I don't care. Look, you want to know what it is. I'm in a financial position where I don't have to worry. I don't have to sell. I Even if it takes, I know we're going to have the MOAS, okay? Again, I'm not a financial planner. I just want to make sure you understand that. I'm not giving you financial advice to channels at the table purposes only. But I am very confident that AMC and GameStop will have a tremendous, a tremendous MOAS. I really don't care how long it takes. If it takes a year, if it takes two years, if it takes three years. And I'm not saying to you it's going to take that long. See, I got to watch everything I say. got to be so politically correct because you say one thing and everybody takes it out of context. I'm just saying if, if is a big word. We can MOAS, we can MOAS on the 4th right, of August 4th, I, no one knows when it's going to happen, I'm not putting any dates, okay, like, you know, like Chad Clifford, that's his favorite, no dates, only dates for the Bates Motel, but uh, <laughs> he definitely has dates for that, Not maybe not for the AMC GameStop squeeze, but he has dates for his own personal squeeze, but we'll, we'll leave that for another day, <laughs> but the point is that however long it takes, it just gives me more of an opportunity to buy more AMC shares, to buy more GameStop shares, to keep loading the boat. So I'm okay with that. We're at the very worst case scenario. At some point, you know, it's like money in the bank. It's like I, I, I always think about that movie, uh, National Lampoon. Remember Cousin Eddie? And he had all the money he had it buried in the desert. I always think about, for some reason, that always just comes in my head. And eventually, if you keep burying that money in the desert, you're going to have a lot of damn money. So that's how I look at it with AMC. You know, you keep buying more, you keep buying more, you keep buying more. You get more and more shares. And when this thing hits, it's going to hit big. It's going to hit huge, man. And it's going to make this money that people are making on TBLT look like amateur night at the Apollo, baby. It's going to make it look, they're going to look like chumps.